Getting your ass kicked is a motherfucker. Yeah, it's not fun. Have you ever gotten your ass kicked? Sure. In really? In fight fights. No, in life fights. I didn't get much fights in life. I didn't. I avoided that because yeah. I was fighting from yeah. the time I was fifteen to the time I was twenty-one. I was traveling around the country fighting in martial arts tournaments. Right. So I never got in street fights. I got beat up so much. Yeah, I got in like a couple in high school. One time in high school, this dude grabbed me in a headlock and threw me to the ground. And he was going to punch me in the face and decided not to. Yeah. I, w I, I was helpless. And that's when I started wrestling. I was like, fuck, I got to learn how to wrestle. Yeah. I remember just like, I'm just so lucky this guy didn't just beat my face in a, into a pulp. <laughs> yeah. Like he, I didn't know how to wrestle. Like we, he got in my face and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And I was like confused. And I remember he got me in a headlock and just threw me to the ground and then didn't punch me in the face. Like, was going to punch me in the face, <laughs> but didn't. It's like, right. And I, I just like, it's okay. And I got up, and then I remember avoiding him around the school. Like, I'd see him. It's the worst. And I'd be like, where is he? i got to go, go the other way. And I remember, like, I hate this. And that's when I started doing martial arts because I was like, i got to learn how to fight. That's why I put my kid, Maximus, in jiu-jitsu. Mm, it's perfect for kids. I put him, Matt Sarah, I called Matt. Oh, that's I go, awesome. I go, he hooked me up with Igor Gracie. Oh, perfect. And uh, he's been there for over a year now. Oh, that's yeah, it's so important for kids to learn how to defend themselves. It'll just, it'll let you avoid fights. Yeah. You know? I remember one time I was in, um, um, I was in Fenway Park, like that area, and uh, like Kenmore Square, and I was walking down the street, and these fucking kids, I forget it was two or three kids, I think it was two kids, and they were like just street kids, like shitty kids. And he's like, uh, hey man, could I borrow some money? And I go, I don't have any money. He goes, come on man, I know you got some fucking money. And I go, no, I don't have any money. <laughs> you know, and he goes, man, I'll just fucking take your money. I go, okay. And I keep walking. He goes, where the fuck are you going? And I got to the door of the Taekwondo Academy where I was teaching. <laughs> and I go, I'm going up here to teach a class. <laughs> I go, do you want to come up? And we were like looking at each other. And he was like, you're teaching the class? I go, yeah. And, he, like, he, and that's when he understood like why I was so confident. Because right. I was trying to figure out, do I kick this guy's head off of his fucking shoulders? <laughs> or do I just calmly walk up to the door and yeah. go, I'm going up here to teach a class. Yeah. It was one of the more interesting moments in my life because it was a moment where having confidence and really knowing how to fight. And by that time, I was like 17. I had knocked a bunch of people out by then. Right. I was used to it. I know how to do it. And I remember just that confidence kept, like it was confusing for him. Yeah. And he's like, man, I know you got some money. I go, no, I don't have any money for you. Yeah. And then we, when we got to the door, it was like perfect timing, like right when they were starting to escalate shit. And in the door, the door was a logo of a guy flying through the air, <laughs> kicking another guy in the head. Yeah. That was the Jae Hun Kim Taekwondo Institute. 